I'm sorry, but this is the scariest, uh, this is gonna be the scariest dream ever. So I had to have an appropriate theme? I mean, yes, this is, this is 100% justified. <laughs> I mean, it'll still never be as good as Corn Love Forever, but no, it's pretty uh, good. I mean, well, uh, if you want Corn Love, then hold on a second, my friend. Because Corn Love is my background, and it will forever be my background. There we I go. I love being seduced by corn. There we go. Look at that. I have it. Uh, gotta get you in the mood for Goosebumps. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, this is probably scarier than anything in Goosebumps. I mean, it'll be giving you Goosebumps. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Goosebumps the game! I've platinumed this. I have no idea what this game's about. I just went through the motions. I followed a walkthrough. I did not read any of the text. I have no idea what this game's about, aside from the fact that it is a tie-in to the movie that came out. What, last year? Something like that? We forward made this? Holy shit, way forward made this? Okay, so, uh, here's an important question. What should we name our character? Ass man. All caps, or... Of, of course, it's it's a given. Okay. Okay, so here's another question. Is Ass Man a boy or a girl? You know in your heart of hearts, which. <laughs> okay, but yeah, it's, it's this one. It's this uh, Goosebumps game. Yes. Uh, cause there have been multiple over the years. Yeah, like there was Escape from Horrorland or whatever there was. Yeah. Which was, what? that was the P, no, Escape from Horrorland, was that the FMV one? Yes. Yeah, that's the one I think of when I think of Goosebumps game. <laughs> Where you play the dog. You play the dog? Is that a twist? What else could you possibly be in that game? Okay. But yeah, this is this is just like a point and click by Way Forward. And to be fair, Way Forward does a lot of licensed shit. Like it basically pays for their passion projects, like yeah. the Shantae series. Yeah. Which Shantae is really good. Uh not the Shantae I played. Man, Which not one did you play? Um Genie Hero, or was it the one before Actually, that? Genie Hero's pretty good. It might have been the one before that. It was uh, the first one for the PlayStation 4. I, I didn't like it very much. Like, it was a weird I mean, Metroidvania where I didn't know where the fuck to go, which is not a great sign. Hmm. All of them have been, I wouldn't say linear, but... They, they've all had a path that you can take. Yeah. Okay, so um, this this is this is as much as I know. These guys they get uh they get in some sort of accident and then uh sla Slappy the Dummy comes alive and then things happen involving Slappy the Dummy. Yeah, Slappy the Dummy. Cause Slappy the Dummy is literally the scariest thing in <laughs> All of Goosebumps, so of course he's going to be the main villain. Or at least one of the most iconic. Yeah. I mean... Uh, it, was it Risky's Revenge? Might have been Risky's Revenge. Because Risky's Revenge I would is pretty weak. I would give it... Yeah, it might not have been Half Genie Hero. I, I think I was trying Risky's Revenge and then I was like, well, I'll, get to ha I'll give that a shot. And then I didn't... Oh no, we left our cell phone somewhere. You can. We left our cell phone in the school. Um, so I have platinum this game, as I said before. Yeah, uh, it's not hard. Yeah, uh, it's. The hardest thing 
is like getting like in order to get the platinum you have to pick up at least you have to pick up every item at least once and uh and there are six items in this game that are completely random to get and you have to spend a lot of time uh doing it in order to get them and it sucks i hate them gross yeah just need the key from your book bag like i wouldn't yeah, e i wouldn't even say that the hardest uh achievement is like doing it in like 175 moves or less because you're just following a uh a walkthrough like 175 moves is nothing mm -hmm. no it's it's just a very simple point and click adventure yep So, um, so you can, <laughs> it's a good choice on the name. You click play. Good. Hi, Assan, it's mom. <laughs> oh, that's right. Chad, our cooler old, older brother, because we're like 10. Ah, uh, yes. Assman and Chad. <laughs> and then you can pick up this paper that, uh, that doesn't have any value whatsoever towards the progress of this game um there's a lot of really superfluous items in this game yeah there's a lot of filler items it's kind of a problem actually because your inventory is gonna get cluttered as shit yeah and it kind of sucks yeah but this this game is who oh boy just never forget that they did a drake and josh game they did Yes. Oh no, I'm sorry, Dude, Wayforward. Dude, Wayforward did a lot of fucking shovelware for the GBA. <laughs> oh my god, they did so much shovelware. Like, they, they've been able to get pickier about what they do as time has gone on, but they still do a lot of crap. So this weed killer is very important. You need this weed killer, otherwise, uh, things, bad things will happen. Hi, bird teeth. Don't forget to save your game frequently. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, no, bird teeth. Like, 100%. I'm not faulting them for it. No, no. Like, even when they get licensed shit, they at least try. I respect the hell out of them for that. I don't think they really tried with this. No. I mean, at least the art assets are nice. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, this guy right here. He's the reason we get the weed killer, because if you leave him alone for too long, he'll just kill you later in the game. Like, he'll just fucking yeah, this... straight up murder you. This game does that a lot. It does. It's very surprising how willing this game is uh, to murder a 10 year old over and over again. In fact, there is a um, an achievement for getting 10 unique deaths or something like that? Oh. I didn't go there. But like, the, the game expects you to get the deaths. Usually on purpose, too. Yeah. Like, that's that's half of the appeal, so to speak. It's like there's a commotion near the tunnel. And, and yeah, Bertie, as I said before, too, it, it like part of it <laughs> seems like they do it to help <laughs> okay. pay for their Okay, Passion project. You, your your call on the name is very very good. <laughs> Mind your own business, ass man. What an insult! <laughs> Donald Ass Man, Cosmo Kramer, the Ass Man. The road is completely blocked. You'll have to find another way around. Uh. I think if you pick one of these, I don't know, I don't remember if the roses are important or not. Like, I, I literally do not remember if this rose ever comes up in you needing to uh, do it, use it. Because I know there's a bunch of shit that you just chuck down a laundry chute for no reason. Canister. 
Let's take this. Oh, that's right. You, we need. We absolutely need the shrunken head. The shrunken head is vital, or later in the game. Uh, the top hat. I think we need. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. I wonder what happens when I open the coffin. Yeah, this is just another area that just clutters up your inventory like a motherfucker. Yeah. I But at least two of these things are needed, and I don't think the book is, though. I think the touch book... Touch the glowy thing. I did touch the glowy thing. It's like... It's like... Uh, you ought to keep your distance. That glow doesn't bode well. Like, I don't... I want to touch the glowy, though. Like, what's even the point? Hey, if you want to have kids at any point in the future, I'd recommend you not touch the glowy thing. <laughs> oh, look, I found a rabbit. You can talk to touch the rabbit. Touch the rabbit. Oh. Bye, rabbit. Uh, oh. I didn't... I thought that that was a puzzle, which is why I grabbed a top hat. Because if you give him the top hat, he's like, thanks, and then leaves. But it no, turns just out a chill -ass bunny. it turns out you can just talk to him and he's like bye and then he leaves you can just chat with the bunny and also you're racist <laughs> listen I'm just gonna chuck this oh oh that's right here's the thing that we can kill ourselves with why why <laughs> would you do this <laughs> This might have been a mistake, says the game. I like that you don't even get like any sort of payoff with it. It's like, yeah, you just keep falling. <laughs> you just fall forever. Eventually you starve to death. No, no, you die of dehydration before you starve to death. Uh, I think this is another area that just clutters up your inventory because like I think you can pick the shoe up I don't remember I'm not gonna This weird fucking lady woman It's like the beginning of the mist, except you fall through a hole in the sewer and land in a bad game. I think you're still talking about mist there. Ass <laughs> man, what's your name? Just got a little pin on your shirt that just says, hello, I'm ass man. <laughs> I have no idea what that was about. Uh, oh yeah, we need to take... Coup I didn't want the coupon book, I wanted the letter. Because the letter is actually Well, important. you got both now, fucker. I guess... Enjoy your clutter. No! No! I'm into the goth librarian look. I mean... Unironically same. <laughs> Let's look in this hole! Yeah, we got our key. We got the house key. Finally, you can break into your own home. <laughs> if only I ah, thanks for... 16 months in a row, Esquire. Nice. Yeah. Oh, look at that! Our house become all spooky! This is our house, but No, it's just your house normally. Nobody oh. cleans, it's disgusting. <laughs> oh, God. Man. 
Your big sister's actually just throwing a gun. May as right well right try now. your house key just in case. Why the fuck? If I have it in my inventory, just let me in. Is this based on the Jack Black film or the 90s show? This is a tie in to the Jack Black film. This is, I think, a prequel or something like that? <laughs> I, I thought it was like kind of its own thing that is just rife with fucking references and fan service. <laughs> Smell dust and decay in the air. Ah, uh, shh. Think I go downstairs? Yeah. Uh, please? Oh, I guess not. God, that is a face. That is a face. Uh. Dave, yes. This goddamn movie had a tie in game two. It had no chance. Oh, oh, oh! Let's drink the prune juice. Mmm, delicious. Mm. Pruny. How's it going, assholes? Hi. Like, I wasn't joking about the goth librarian lady. I know. I, it's... I doubt there are romance options in this, in this game, but if there are, I need you to pursue them. <laughs> You're a child. You're literally ten. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Three children Three materialize before your eyes. This really is a haunted house. Oh, come on. All right. Uh, let's see, the, um, blonde is gonna be the rival, uh, the plucky girl is gonna be our companion, and the young boy is secretly the villain. Oh. Are, are they ghosts? I think so. I think so, they're all saying that this is their house. The one on the left is definitely a ghost. I was born on a leap year. Or maybe he's just really sleep deprived. You don't know that. I was born on a leap year. Okay, but look what? at his pants. That's the style of the time. That's just the style these days. It's... Kids tatter their bottom of the, their cuffs of their jeans to make them look like ghosts. It's very, very common. Oh, okay. Why is this game well, flashing like at me? Why is this game just flashing at me? What? <laughs> Oh, cool, the basement door unlocked. Hmm. Okay, so this is just like match up thing to child, I guess. Yeah. Uh, All right, um, middle kid clearly wants the creepy shrunken head. No, no, the creepy shrunken head is actually used for something else later. It's for your own personal enjoyment. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Play hacky sack with it. Turn the vice. Testing something dumb in the Whoa! We opened up a hidden passage to another fucking world in our in our fucking uh, house. This is our house. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe this is. I haven't poked around in my basement all that much. Maybe there is a. Maybe that's standard in all basements. <laughs> I mean, I haven't had a basement in a couple of years, so like almost two decades, so maybe that is standard now. Who knows? Take the wire hanger, because I don't remember if I need that or not. Let's take the step ladder, because I don't remember if I need that or not. I think maybe you should sue the guy who sold you this house. <laughs> uh, well, if you didn't do a proper inspection, didn't have a third party come in and check everything, it's really on you. Yeah, I mean... I mean, this really should come up during a basic inspection of the house. I mean, make sure your electrical systems aren't, you know, made of tape and hope. Make sure your foundation's secure. Make sure you don't have another worldly portal hidden behind your <laughs> toolbox. Or, Dude, was, was there anything about this deal above board, like... Cause I'm having my doubts. There you are, ass man! Come give me a big kiss! Uh, also, I fear with mentioning that I, I am testing something in the background, and so while you were talking to the ghost kids, there's just this incredibly dramatic, jazzy intro <laughs> playing for me. <laughs> uh, 
that any way to treat your Aunt Delilah or Do Aunt Dahlia? Why uh, is your face like that? Do you have a stroke? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Come have some prune juice, your loving aunt safe for you. Let's not. I think we already did that death, thank you very much. See, I like... Well, not prunes, but like plums, I guess. And I still would not drink prune juice. How was school today? Uh, let's give details, because I think that's the solution. Uh, for, for this, uh... Excuse me, I have to see where my dogs are going nuts. Be back in a minute. Tramble on for... S uh, let's... T I think you changed the subject? Uh, I think I keep talking. I hate... Yeah. You know what this reminds me of? What? That, that series of ads of the one guy with a massive grin on his face in various places, and they were just all ads for butt plugs. <laughs> Okay, uh, let me let her sleep. Uh, and like, then we... The one that always sticks out to me is just the, the image of a man sitting on a bus with a huge grin on his face. Oh, wait. Oh, God. Oh, I did all that for nothing because I don't have the thing to, to solve this. Aha! Dang it. <laughs> okay. Uh, you immediately notice a dripping sound. So faint it'll be hard to hear it. Let's see. Um, take this weird talisman. Uh, let's take this purple peanut butter. I'm pretty sure it isn't useful at all. Your weirdly sparse cupboards and drawers <laughs> and fridge. There's something shot. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah, I, I do remember that we do need the just wire. Just shove hanger. your hand in there. Yeah, just, just shove, just it, right shove in. it right in there. You're a tiny child. <laughs> a key! I found a key! Good for me! Oh, wait. Oh, dang. Ah, uh, I don't think you can get any bowls in this game. Drink the soap. <laughs> can I? Hold on. Use. Oh, I can't. Use it to spice up the prune juice. <laughs> Let's take the sponge. I think the sponge is like a is a reference to a thing in Goosebumps. In the Goosebumps yeah, sponge. Yeah, like, there was an evil sponge that, like, ate you or something. Ate you or your dog or something. You know, maybe sometimes a sponge is just a sponge. Maybe. There's a tunnel back here. I don't remember. Hold on. I'm going to look up which directions for this thing, because, like, otherwise I will be here all night crawling around the goddamn crawl space. Uh, bumps. Tunnel. Who's supposed to game? Tunnel. There we go. Uh, that's, uh, 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 nope, nope, that's, I don't remember, I don't remember where to get this, this, uh, achievement guide and road map. Okay. Nope, that's not it. Uh, goosebumps the game. Walk. Go. Uh, storm tunnel. No, 
neighborhood, backyard, house, basement, foyer, dining room, kitchen, crawl space. Okay. Oh, you can just hold the directional buttons. Okay. So I go up three times. And then I move into this side passage. It's like, I, I don't want to be down here all night crawling through this damn tunnel. Up once. Go to the side passage. And I just go up until I reach the end. Got it. Okay. This is like the most confusing part of the, of the entire thing. This... Just this part right here. There's also a bag! Let's take the bag! Oh. Maybe we should just, uh... Maybe we should leave. I really remember liking the Choose Your Scare Goosebumps books. That's where the pe pe purple peanut butter is from. I did not remember that. I'm pretty sure I knew that. I just didn't remember it. I read a lot of Goosebumps back in the day. People peanut butter, yes. Yeah, you just keep moving backwards. And then for some reason, the monster blood stops... Uh, it even tells you that's monster blood. Like, you don't know that unless you're like, is your character canonically a fan of the Goosebumps books? I think, I think they are. This, this fucking thing is so confusing. Like, Goosebumps is, okay, let's, let's kill this lady. No way. Apologize. Uh, decline, and then we talk to her. Do you change the subject? Then we keep talking. You don't give, you don't give her a chance to speak. Essentially, then she falls asleep, and now we can murder her. I know there's a camera you can get later that lets you take a picture of her, or a, a Chivo, but, I mean, purple stuff, use! Oh, jeez! What the fuck is even happening? Oh, God! Ah! Ah! She just turned to- You just fucking <laughs> murdered that lady! I told you! I told you we were gonna fucking murder a lady! You murdered the shit out of her! <laughs> <laughs> there's blood on your hands! <laughs> no, there's not! She specifically crumbled into dust. There is no blood involved. Ah, blood <laughs> dust on your hands. <laughs> A picture is coming into focus. It looks like some kind of ventriloquist dummy is talking, but there's nobody else there. Where is this voice coming from? I mean, it's, it's on TV. That shit's pretty easily edited. Like, of all the things to call out, why would it be this specifically a TV show? I don't know. Also, yeah, this this puppet just has a hate on for you in particular. Yeah. Test the bookshelf. Okay. Check the bookshelf. You slide so many horses. Okay. Is that a reference? 
Oh god! Why is there a picture of a clown there? What the fuck? Look, some people have sad clowns, other people have creepy clowns. Oh, look, we have an Atari Classic right here. Or is that a ColecoVision? Does it matter? Let's play. Aren't there enough video games in your life right now? Fucked Don't up. you fucking judge me, Goosebumps the video game! You. Yeah, only one video game at a time, dude. Don't get greedy. <clears throat> fucking... Uh, 92 was a leap year, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Because I, re I remember this is a solution to a particular puzzle. You have to use it on 1992. Oh, no, it wasn't that. Uh, I guess it was 88 then. That solution. There we go. So we just uh, killed that other ghost girl. We just killed the ghost girl because she's like, I was born on a leap year. <laughs> and so you, you take the leap year I mean, off. Look, the leg warmers should have been a hint that it was the 80s. <sighs> Fair enough. The dryer's running at the moment. Oh, we need to take the detergent. And we need to take... We need, no, we need to take the detergent. Smell the clothes. I guess, uh, let's open the washer, we need, like, I want to move the thing into the, oh, right, we need to also take dr the dryer sheets. Anyway, we can open up this closet and- OH MY GOODNESS! Oh, the bathroom's locked. Uh... Is this... Yeah, this is the bathroom key. Yeah, she was literally never born. The year 1988 has never happened. What movie did I erase? Oh god! Oh god, what movies did I erase? Did I erase, uh, movies released in 1988? Uh, uh, what movies did I- Oh no, I erased Two Frame Roger Rabbit and Die Hard! Shit! You absolute fucker. And Beetlejuice! And Big! And Willow! Okay, Big isn't really a huge loss, okay. let's be real here. Okay, okay. I, I erased They Live! Why? Fuck you Why would you do that? Shit. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else did I- Okay. Okay, okay, but you know what? Hmm. On the bright side, you erased coming to America. <laughs> I also, uh, what did on you the- just do? Uh, what are we talking well, about? Well, okay, so, so, uh, in order to solve the mystery of, like, that girl who's like, I was born on a leap year, you have to, uh, pry a- a year off of a grandfather clock, and then so that basically means that year never happened. So I've erased all these great movies, but also I erased Short Circuit too. So like, hmm. that's either a loss or a gain, depending on who you ask. Uh, but I I will tell you this. Um, I I also erased Who Framed Roger Rabbit and Die Hard. Well, you can just die then. Fuck off. <laughs> I condemn you to death. Yeah, I mean, I mean, to be fair, that's a reasonable response. Yeah. Oh, boy. I think... So what did I miss? Uh, my neighbor um, was bringing me some mail that got delivered to his address by mistake, and we got to chat and... Oh, uh, I literally murdered an murder old... Later. Yeah, I, I murdered an old woman. Which old woman? Uh, the old woman who was at the table and like with the creepy oh, smile. Your auntie? Yeah, I I murdered her. I literally turned her into dust. Damn. Yep. Physical on her ass. All right. Uh, let's see here. Forget how to do this. Uh, I think you 
Oh wait, oh, I need to take this photo. Um. Okay, so, to be fair, Esquire, I didn't kill that girl. I just had her cease to be. It can't be murder if she just never existed in the first place. Don't think that would hold up in court, but <laughs> listen, she can't. She can't try to. They can't uh, convict me of a murder of somebody who never existed. Hmm. Maybe you should get some information first. No, I'm just gonna do this. So, so you put it on the far left one for 50 seconds. So let me wait until my watch says. 20s, though. Alright, so this is an annoying puzzle because he is just literally waiting. Exciting gameplay. Woo! Yay! <laughs> Point and click adventures are fun, guys! They are, though. This one just this, sucks. Yeah, this one just really sucks. Uh. You know, I could be playing Monkey Island instead. You'd be <laughs> doing a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, they're. Yeah. I could be doing a lot of things right now. Okay. My game being picked up on my mic. Uh, not oh, really. You're good. Okay, good. Okay, and then you put it in here for a minute. 60 seconds. Alright, so let's wait until my watch says 30 seconds. This is the worst. This is the worst. I'm not even sure if this is required. I just remember uh, having to do this one time. Like, man, I've played some real shit adventure games, but this this sucks. <laughs> so this is bad, I'm guessing. Lortirian, it is a Goosebumps point-and-click adventure game based, which is a tie-in to the Goosebumps movie. You tell me if this is bad. It is. It is aggressively mediocre. <laughs> no, 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 no! I haven't. I haven't freed the ghost of the white boy yet, of the second white boy, but yeah, I erased the black girl forever. Oh, the second white boy. Yeah, the second white boy. The second white boy has uh, has stuff that I need, other stuff that I need to do. Okay, so. All right, so. Now we have to do this again for 60 seconds on the other thing, so. God, this is the worst. But I don't know which Goosebumps game. Was. I think oh, I heard it was okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the worst. Yeah, two white boy ghosts get to move on to the afterlife, but the black girl gets erased from existence entirely. But to be fair, Damn. she was a little rude. <laughs> oh, you were mean to me, so you are unmade. <laughs> you were a I am you were the Abrahamic a god. You were a little bit mean to me, so I erased your entire year of existence. Your parents no longer know you lived. No one knows you. It's like, that's some. F that's fucking harsh as hell. I think I use it on the sink. Uh, yeah. What? Uh. Oh, 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 okay. I use the tongs. I can look at my. F I can take my photograph. Use tongs on sink. 
Hey, I think I did it correctly. What the hell do you want me to do now, game? You shut the thing. Oh. There. But the results are worth it. I don't think so, game. <laughs> I really don't think the results were worth it. Uh, and then I think I used this with the frame. Yes. Now I have a perfectly framed picture. Why? Uh, it's a, it's another solution to another. It's a solution to another puzzle. Now feed it prune juice so it can <laughs> age, and then erase it from existence. To erase that time you wasted from existence. Uh, erase this game from existence. Yeah, I wish. Uh, fuck. Billions of people got butterflied out of existence because a girl sassed you. <laughs> I pray you're proud. Yeah, where? Where the fuck am I going? That's like, a question I ask myself a lot. Especially in this game. Found. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. Uh, I'm just gonna stumble my way. Okay, yeah, I have no idea how to get into the room I was in before, so guess what? We're stepping into the gaping mall. Hell yeah! I love the gaping mall. Stare at the infinite. You drift away. But yeah, that's the secret. This this whole portal situation is the big secret on how you beat the game in like less than 175 moves because it teleports you all around. Because it's fast travel. Yep. Okay. Why don't so you just teach him how to tie his shoes? <sighs> that's not the solution to the puzzle, dang it. He wants to listen to some good music, but we don't have any way to. Give him good music yet. It's true. Load up music like some of the stank on the MP3 player. You're good. No fucking leave. <laughs> <laughs> I say like, it's just like the like. I thought, what's a bad band? And that's the, literally the first thing that popped in my Please, head. Just, yeah, start start blasting fucking fist bump. Everyone's favorite Sonic theme. <laughs> Never forget. I mean, honestly, some fucking reason they got Hoover Stank to do that. <laughs> uh, honestly, one of the ways you can get him to listen to music is to down is to just use your dad's computer and uh and download download a car. <laughs> yeah, I always remember my pat password in the bathroom. Why oh. though? Why? <laughs> Oh, I like the inspirational poster right here. Uh, yeah, sever. Yeah. Her sever. Your head from your neck. Your room... Oh, this is the guest room. Shit. Uh... The closet... There we go, that's the bathroom. Okay, uh, so what we do to get the password is we turn on the sink and the shower, and look at that! We made it all steamy. And a ghost gave us the phone number. Mm-hmm. All right, time to hook up with a dead person. I think this is another way to, uh, to... To get the music that you need to, but I'm bad at chess. And I wait, do I have all the pieces I need? I do. Oh, <gasps> wow. I could. Oh my god. See. So if I put the knight here. And if I put the rook here, 
if I put the queen here, the king should not be able to go anywhere without queen. Oh, yeah, uh, check. There we go. Yeah! Oh, look! We have our Coney Listen Man. Mm-hmm. 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 All right, so um, okay. so there there are two ways to uh to to solve the uh the music thing. I've got the solution to one of them already, and then I'm about to get the solution to the other one right here. So uh, I've gone to my dad's music list. Uh, so we can search. Let's see what do we got here? Um, the entirety of ACDC, uh, Aerosmith. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I choose Rock of Ages. I don't... Wait, hold on. Like, why didn't the music... Click on the search bar. Uh, select response. Oh, okay. I, I don't remember the other part of the solution. So, yeah, you can just download a, a song onto your phone and then play it for the kid but um i have the other solution to this right here i believe which is is and the goosebumps movie on netflix i don't know actually let me check you turn because i feel like i need to know what kind of bullshit is happening oh god oh the movie has nothing to do with this I thought it was a prequel. No, it's it's this game is kind of its own thing. What? What? I can't use uh, use music player. On so there is a Goosebumps movie, but not uh, the Goosebumps movie. Uh, I forgot. I need batteries for this thing. Uh, there are also five seasons of the Goosebumps TV show. Mm -hmm. There are five seasons. On uh, Netflix, TV I'm saying. Oh, on Netflix. I think that might just be all of them, to be honest. Wait. Uh. Yeah. So, also, I have learned that the second Scooby Doo movie, live action one, is on Netflix, but not the first one. Hmm. Hmm. Weird. Also, the Garfield show. Which Garfield show? The Garfield show. Garfield and Friends? No, the Garfield show. The the relatively recent oh. one that was all 3D animation. Well, I just got fucking murdered by a robot. Yeah, you probably deserved it. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Oh god. So I'm gonna the, be real. How the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna have to go talk to that boy to figure out what kind of goddamn music he likes, duh, aren't I? I bet you it's nothing good. I bet it's not. Well. I want my favorite song. What's your favorite song? Uh, nothing good. What the fuck's your uh, favorite Dreamweaver. song? Okay. Uh... He just says, come closer, and you get closer, and he's like, come closer, and you, just, you get closer. They whispers in your ear. Dracula. It's biscuit. <laughs> I like no. I like Dracula better. Mbop by Hanson. <laughs> also, if no, you're gonna no. say, allow me, allow me to submit the album say, "Chocolate Starfish in a Hot Dog Flavored Water" by Limp Biscuit. I was gonna say, if you're gonna say Limp Biscuit, you should have said something like Funoki. I don't remember how to solve, solve this fucking puzzle. Like, what the fuck do I use just, against a goddamn this kid robot? Just whispers in your ear. His favorite song. Okay. <laughs> Let's open up this drawer. Oh, I found the film. Uh. What the fuck are these toys? Well, here's a ripoff R2D2. Uh. Okay, but what's going on with that car in the bottom right? I think that's supposed to be a ripoff Speed Racer. I I have questions about that. Uh, maybe if I take a picture of the robot, then it will... Use camera on toy robot! 
Oh, okay. It didn't work the way I wanted to, but I'm not dead. And it's not the fucking camera obscura. Why did you think that would work? The logic is not a thing in this game, apparently. Let's use the... Oh. Okay, well, I died again. Okay, so how the fuck do I... Robot. With a gun. Uh... Dish soap! Okay! Why? Hey, you, you, you shorted out. That's what I was trying to do with the weed killer, and that didn't work. Well, yeah, it's not a weed. Why do you think that would work? Because it's wet and it would short out like... Okay, what But the it's fuck for ever. killing weeds! That's a robot! <laughs> fucking idiot! <laughs> Listen, you motherfucker. Absolute fucking moron. Okay. Bam! Oh! Okay, so the toy robot starts walking towards me and it slips on the fucking... Okay. Wow, that's even more stupid than what I had assumed. Yeah, same! Haha, <laughs> you clumsy fuck! Take that, fucking idiot. Okay, yeah, that's the thing I was missing from the solution, was that I forgot to, um... I forgot to put batteries into my walkie-talkie. And that's why the kid was like, That's not funny! I'm, why are you just I'm throwing sorry. a cassette player at me? You, your walkie-talkie? No, uh, cassette player. Whatever. It wouldn't surprise me if I also need to put batteries in a walkie-talkie for this game. Fucking angry that you called it a walkie-talkie. <laughs> in a funky tune. And that's the solution. That's one of the solutions. A door above with opens with a loud chunk. Chunk. That's how doors are. Yeah, that's, that is how doors do. Holy shit, it's Earth, Wind, and Fire! <laughs> is it really? I don't know. <laughs> I don't have volume I just, on. I can't I was tell just, these things. I was just listening to Brain Buster. I was just saying what Brain Buster said. It's an overwhelmingly creepy twist on your parents' bedroom. Why is so it's my parents' bedroom. Yeah, it's just my regular... It's my parents' regular-ass bedroom. Like, what? <laughs> Open. And then I believe... Oh, wait. If you want... If you touch the gargoyle saliva... Let's taste the gargoyle saliva. That's... <laughs> you just turned to stone. Hmm. Like you do. <laughs> yeah, like you do. Okay, now, so instead of that, uh, you use the container on the saliva and you get saliva which is important later that is a solution to a puzzle <laughs> need the correct code oh uh is Chad home yet? No. Good old Chad. No, Chad isn't home yet. The oh, fuck? Where do I go? Like, I don't remember what to do. Uh, let's see here. I've got the walkthrough open. Oh, okay, okay. I have to go up to the attic. Which is, uh... Back in my parents' bedroom, I think. Or... The... Here. Ah, yes, here we are. Let's open us. Oh, that's right. I did need the fucking step ladder because here we are. We need to use the step ladder in order to reach the attic hatch. Oh no, we're short. <gasps> the room we're is child. The room is shrinking. Yay. Oh, that's right. I also need to uh, do this. Ooh. 
Okay, so yeah, we've got a whole bunch of monster slime here now. And oh no, this might kill us if we do anything except this. Use the saliva that turns people into stone on the monster blood, which turns into stone and also keeps the, uh, fucking... This is dumb. This is really dumb. Why would you think to do this? I mean, it makes a dumb kind of sense. It does make a kind of a dumb kind of sense. I would have gone I mean... with the dish soap, but to each his own. <laughs> I mean, breaking the pipe in the first place and then your first reaction being, oh, the stone saliva. Yes. Uh... Hey, look, there's a person in the mirror. Yeah, there is a person in the mirror. Um... Is that us? I, th I think so. I think it's a reference to the, the bad... I forget how you're supposed to break this shit. And I'm uh, pretty sure your character doesn't have a bob, but okay. Oh! I don't have... I don't have the hand mirror, but I can't break it. Do I fucking get the hand mirror? I think maybe from my sister's room? Hmm. Oh no, the guest room, excuse me. Furnishing. Dresser open. Uh. No, it's not there. Uh, also, why is there a creepy skull picture? Oh, that's right, because our house is spooky now. Oh, <gasps> spookums. Oh, that's right. I remember. I think I remember where the uh, hand, hand mirror is. It's in here. No, it's in, in here. Here we are. Like that. This so it seems rude that we haven't called that ghost yet. Yeah. But at the same time, like, really fuck that ghost. Do you know I mean, that's that the ghost? end goal. Yes. <laughs> No, we're ten, ape. Ten. God. I'm pretty sure I'm in my thirties, but okay. <laughs> but our character isn't. Yeah, but you act like a ten-year-old. That's is, what matters. Yeah. All right. So uh, you have to use the hand mirror. Oh, the hand mirror. On the, the mirror. The mirror. The hand mirror. Yeah. Everything you look into it, everything that you look at, just turns to him with that mirror. Mirror, mirror, on the shank. Whose the dress is the most dank? I don't know what the it's fuck It's a Goosebumps that story ca called Let's Get Invisible. You used to read Goosebumps all the time when you were a kid. When you were a kid, you... it says a ten-year-old. We're ten. <laughs> I'm ten, I'm practically an adult, I'm pretty sure I can drive the car. <laughs> You know what? Can't do any worse than anyone else on the road right now. I mean, to be fair. If only you had a way to get in touch with R.L. Stein, maybe he would know what to do. He wouldn't, actually. <laughs> uh, let me see. I'm... Uh, R.L. Stein at spooky. Dot... He, he kind of just hammers these out quick and dirty. I'm pretty sure that all of them, after like the third book, are ghostwritten as well. So... No, uh, much of it's by him. Oh, really? He hammers them out pretty quick. I mean, oh look, it's Chad. <laughs> hey, ass man. Hi, Chad. <laughs> he looks like a Chad. He does look like a Chad. He is the Ur Chad, from which all Chads are descended. And you are his little sister, ass man. I'm not their son at all. I can prove it, ass man. Not my real dad. I know how to stop these monsters, but I can't do it without your help. The code to unlock it is 1992. Why? Was that the year the first Goosebumps book came out or something? 
I bet that's a reference that I just don't get. Probably is. <clears throat> Oh yeah, I forgot the movie has Jack Black as Arl Stein, I think. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yep, it does indeed. Uh, yeah, the, the first Goosebumps uh, book was was done in 92. Okay, yeah. Wait, your brother's surf birth certificate clearly indicates mom and dad are his parents. Well then, Chad, you fucking moron. Absolute idiot. You dingus dongus! You moron, you rube, you idiot, you moron. You fool. You piece of shit. <laughs> Chump. I think it's more of a conspiracy theory than rebellious upbringing, but, you know, whatever. His name's fucking Chad. You. So, believe it or not, we're like two-thirds of the way done the game already. <laughs> yep, it's not a long game. No, it's really not. Like, the mall... It's probably made on a budget of five. <laughs> it's also, like, impossible to feel any sense of progression, because things just kind of happen. Yeah. Um, so, you can go to the mall, but you don't want to go to the mall right now. Uh, you need to go to... back to the Child school. goes to the mall. Need to go back to the school before you can go to the mall because there's a thing that you need to get uh, back there that, before you can even enter the mall. Five what? Five, yes, exactly. Like five anything. <laughs> I got like five. <laughs> Bottle caps, I guess. Is that enough to make a video game? M sure. Mom and Dad really are your parents, Chad, and also the world isn't fucking flat. <laughs> Did they get Jeff Goldblum to come back? I don't know. Oh, God, that was... Okay, so there was, um... Another Goosebumps point-and-click adventure game. Yeah, Escape that from Borderland. Uh, yeah. Okay, Maybe okay, so... So here's here's the thing we can do. So the so I know what the solution is. We have to show this guy a thing. But if we show him anything else aside from the one thing, <laughs> it's a high level adversary. God damn it! Looks like we're gonna have to go grind for an hour and a half. <laughs> huh. The beast from the east. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that book. I don't. I stopped reading Goosebumps by then. The only really, the only real Goosebumps book I remember is Say Cheese and Die. The only one I really remember is Monster Blood Two, because that was the first one I read. I remember fucking none of them. <laughs> You're blessed among men. Oh my god. Oh, no, is... You see, I distinctly remember that Escape from Horrorland game, the FMV game, so I mean, I'm not that blessed. <laughs> oh wait, oh shit, I forgot to get a thing back at the house, damn it. I forgot that you actually needed one of the things out of the sandbox before you could do this. But I remembered the, port the important thing of having to take the head. And uh... You had to take the head and you had to uh, fucking show that to the to the monster. Otherwise, you just fucking die. <gasps> so you reach into sandbox to get stuff. What are the odds that you just get a cat turd? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we need this this shovel right here, or excuse me, spade. You need a spade. Whoa, damn, that's brutal, Brewski. What was the other horror children's story? I remember a story about someone who had raw dough shoved into their nose and mouth and then stuck in the oven until it killed them. That sounds... Yeah, that does sound that's a bit... That's fucked up. That's really fucked up. I don't remember. Pretty fucking brutal. 
I mean, there are kind of some fucked up moments in Goosebumps too, but like none of the kids die except in this video game. I think a lot of kids died in Goosebumps actually. No, what, but it was, there was. Was it ever like on screen? No. I mean, like, did it ever went well, no, because they were books. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> um, I think the closest they ever came to dying was that entire book where the twist was that all the kids were actually dogs. I. Oh yeah, that okay, one where it's so like they were genetically engineered. Yeah, they they were the dogs that were turned into, to into people children. Because all those like people on that in that block wanted kids, but they couldn't have them, so they turned dogs into kids, and then the kids eventually turned back into dogs, and that was that's weird. That that was the yeah. closest I think to anything to any child dying in Goosebumps. Now there yeah. was there were choose your own adventure Goosebump books. Oh, those definitely involved children yes, dying. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, well, because it's what, well, but it's the reader dying, so that's okay. I think there was one where, like, one way you could die was based on determining what your weight on Mars would be. So, like, if you're a certain weight, you can't get past this part of the. <laughs> what? Yeah, it was like a choose your own adventure. They're in a theme park, and it's like all the rides, if you, you know, will kill you if you don't beat them. And so one of them was like, determine your weight on Mars, and if you lose, you get sent to Mars and die, like Elon Musk's future space colony. <laughs> I remember the one, I remember one about a dude with pet worms that ate him eventually. Was this Goosebumps, or? Also, um... Does anybody remember, uh, Goose Flumps? No. Never heard of them. Um, let's see, uh... Yeah, no, not Goose, not Goose Flumps, Goo Flumps. They were parody books written by, um, by a man called R. U. Slime. And, uh, there's, there was book four and a half, known as Eat Cheese and Barf. And book number two... Two and a half, known as Stay Out of the Bathroom. I never got those one of these books. I just, I, I never got any of those books, but I do remember seeing them in a bookstore and being like, man, who would ever make fun of Goosebumps? They're so, they're so good. And yeah, now I kind of see the Goofflumps' guys' uh, uh, reasoning behind this. Anyway, let's use the key card on the mall reader. And enter it and enter the mall. And immediately you get accosted by a robot cop. And much like any other cop, he is fucking the worst. <sighs> Your sequel is really bad, buddy. <laughs> joke what the fuck okay well i wish i was making like a robocop joke but oh all, that yeah, too all blur it also robo works as a paul bart cop <laughs> uh so the 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 gimmick here is that uh if, if robo mall cop the, the gimmick robo here the, the, the gimmick here is if you run into the fucking mall cop he kills you so what if you just walk instead of run if you walk uh, into the cop, he still kills you. Yeah, if you walk into the cop, he still fucking the shit out of you, dude. This co mm, this course. this robot cop is out for blood. He murders you like cops murder just about anyone they want to. Uh, let's see. Goolberg, I think, is the R.L. Stein. Uh, uh, yeah, but also he's a Reddit cop with something to prove. Yep. Literally rent him. You memorize the number listed for Goolberg, hoping it's a clever pseudonym for R.L. Stein. So, what? So uh? we can use the, we can like drain the fucking like mall uh mall water fountain and like use the coins, use the uh, the uh the phone here, or you know we just have a fucking cell phone. 
Something must be blocking the signal. What? <gasps> Shit. Anika, like, mall somehow. There we go. Chocolate. Walk the time. Somehow this mall is made to block all radio signals. This is ass man. <laughs> I'm looking the for a whole time. Entirely out of lead. Yeah, it's just a giant Faraday cage. It's like a social experiment or some such. He wrote those Goosebumps books everyone likes. I think you're making a bit everyone of assumption likes there. Everyone them, Kalon. Everyone. I take it Ass Man is the name you gave yourself? Uh, no, it's the name Torpo gave me. But, yes. Uh. essentially, yes. Okay, okay, I, I like that joke. I like that joke where it's like, he's like, yeah, this is, uh, let me go get Arl Stein for you. Hi, Arl Stein here. <laughs> I, that, that's a legit, like, I, I kind of like that joke a little bit. You're the only one. Uh, I mean, this is about- like, this. A, like a 30s vaudeville joke. To be fair, that is the kind of joke I could imagine R.L. Stein actually making. You must keep Slappy distracted. And also, it's this kind of joke I see uh, Jack Black making, so... Wait, right, doesn't he play Stein in the movies? He does. Mm -hmm. He does play Stein the, in the, the movie. movie. I think there's a second one coming out, actually. Uh, it already Cody. came out. Okay, so in order to get the, the Rendicop to move, you just had to move to another area and then hope his shadow doesn't show up. And then, like, uh... I think I could yeah, just go ahead... Fun. I think I could just fucking beat the game now. Honestly? I think I could it's just beat Goosebumps. the game. Goosebumps 2 Haunted Halloween. It came out on uh, October 12th. Ah, fruit orbs. Yes, Delicious. I love the orbs. fruit orbs. I, uh, you know, I, I, as a kid, I really loved the when your mom would buy you a package of fruit orbs by the Borbs. Mm-hmm. 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 So what in Canada do they have fruit by the meter? Okay, so remember when I said that we were like two-thirds of the way done the game? There's a whole bunch of shit you can do in the mall, but if you know exactly what you're doing, this is the only shit that you need to do. And guess what? This is the only shit that I'm doing. <laughs> is there any significance to all those candy containers that are full of this weird purple... whatever the hell it is? I think if you take it, you die. I was like supposed to be monster blood. Like, is it a reference? I think to I think it's a reference to like the other kind of monster blood or whatever. I fucking like goose goosebumps. Fight me. Yeah. Uh, I liked goosebumps, and then I stopped liking goosebumps. <laughs> I oh no! I, I I was spooked. Oh jeez, jump scares. So you scary. All. Oh, um. Don't give name. I'm gonna kid who's gonna stop you once and for all. How are you going to? St What's your plan? I think his plan is to break out of Arkham Asylum and try and kill Bat. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody stands else stands a snowball's chance in Miami. We had to say Miami because we're not allowed to say hell. They could have just done those things like, aren't there? I mean, Miami is effort? pretty close to hell. But they could have been like hell, Nebraska, or something. With his special uh, typewriter, hell, Michigan, thank you. people still write books on typewriters, you see. Pretentious hipsters do. Distract him! Distracted! Mm. The p 
plant man. Uh, yep. So what's your game, kid? Uh, I think it's made you look, which lets me beat uh, the game. I think this is my game, actually. Oh no, he's coming right at me! Oh no! That is weird, incredibly detailed hands. You can't, you're not sure how to fight an evil dummy. Well, here's the thing, he's just a fucking Push him over. dummy, like... Cut his strings! Yeah. Take your the hand out of his ass. You for playing <laughs> this game. Not fo so fast, Slappy! And look, is there a loving, stylized rendition of Jack Black? Throw termites on him. Stick a walnut in his mouth. <laughs> I, I hate this. this Threaten to donate him to Jeff Dunham. Oh please! Now that, that's here's the cruel. thing. This is this might be Jack Black, but he doesn't have his excellent grandpa beard. So. You'll regret this, Papa? What? Why would you call R.L. Stein Daddy? Look, it, no, he didn't say Daddy. It could have been much worse. <laughs> yeah, it's just Papa. N nothing, no disturbing sexual undertones there. This horrible puppet is my son. <laughs> Why are you I think that, that's another no, horror movie. There's no. probably a bunch of different horror no, movies. Oh, stop saying things like that, Axie. This is why you were in the the shame cube earlier. <laughs> Finally, we've defeated a we've defeated the spirit of Puppet Master Three on VHS. <laughs> Every RL story RL Stein types comes to life? What the fuck? Is that the- Then why would you type anything ever? Yeah! Why just- type Just and use a fucking to... computer. Just use a fucking computer. Just use a fucking computer instead of your goddamn typewriter, you piece of shit. And then humanity found all the resources it could ever need, and space communism became real, and we all have teleporters and, like, what is it, the fucking synthesizers? It basically Star Trek. We basically became Star Trek. Except without yep. the Borg. Yep. Fuck the Borg. Borg are dumb. They were supposed to be bug. Just original. good job, ass man, and her older brother, Chad. Oh, we left all that shit open so mom's yelling at us because we were having an adventure. We're going to have a series talk about your video game privileges. Yeah, yeah, I, I chose to be a girl. You can choose to be a girl in this game. Anyway, that was Goosebumps the video game. There's a whole bunch of shit you can do in the mall, but none of it's interesting or good or fun. So I elected to Correct. ignore it. Wait, there are side quests in this. No, it's not a side quest. Game? It's just an elongated way to dr to draw out it's filler. this filler. It's literally filler. Like, if you know what the fuck you're doing, then like, okay. So the entire point of the game is to figure out how much weight you need to for the candy bags in order to get into the back door because the back door is connected to the candy bag. So there's all the shit you need to do in the mall in order to figure that out. But if you know the solution, you can just go to the candy shop and after calling R.L. Stein and beat the game. The end. Oh, so it's not like a randomized amount. Of, no, no, it's not. It's not randomized. It's the same every time. Yeah, WayForward made this. Uh, WayForward definitely made this. It's a video game that they made. And now that Telltale is gone, they'll like dominate the adventure game market. <laughs> right now I'm just picturing R.L. Stein's like incantation, incantation for getting shit back into the book is just, I love it when you call me Big Papa. <laughs> <laughs> no! No! 
It's too late. No. He already said it. I know he did, it can't but be unsaid. No. <laughs> Those most cursed words have left my lips. <laughs> Now they'll spend a lifetime on someone's hips. <laughs> Cut to Ferrata, Daddy! <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Papa, Naughty, Ferricto. <laughs> Based on the Scholastic book series Goosebumps, written by R.L. Stein. I feel so sorry for it. Oh, thank you, Esquire. So, just to make this perfectly clear, because I'm still having a hard time wrapping around my wrapping this around my head. Mm -hmm. You paid money for this. Uh, this costs actual physical money, right? Yes, this did co cost actual physical money. Did it cost five? Yes, it cost five. How much <laughs> money did this cost? Like, okay. for real? Okay, so normally, the base price for this game is $20. Jesus fucking... But I paid five because it was on sale. <laughs> That's still too much. <laughs> I've played worse. This didn't last 26 fucking hours. This is true. I beat this game in an hour 20 minutes. Spoopy. Okay, X, do not bring up that fucking cursed thing here. <laughs> Just go. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I, this is, this is, that's it. I'm not streaming anything else. This is it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, bye.